Hey Technic fans, it's OSU Harding One and welcome to another LEGO Technic Review. Today guys we're going to look at a supercar. This is called the Predator and this was designed by Nathaniel Coopers. Uh, the instructions and the parts inventory are available on rebrickable.com. This model has uh, 1,797 pieces and all of the parts are readily available. So if you have the desire and the means to be able to build this, uh, you should be able to get the parts relatively easily. Um, one of the neat features about this model that uh, I'm, that really sets it apart from all the other supercars is the transmission and I'll show you that as best as I can here in a few minutes but uh, the overall look of it here is fantastic so first things first let's just get a good overall look at it obviously it's all white with orange accents and dark bluish gray Looks great from the rear here. It's got gall wing doors and I'll show you that. Obviously I have custom chrome orange wheels on it, which I'm very pleased with those. Just looks really, really fantastic. So features that you would expect on a model like this is obviously it does have suspension in the front, suspension in the rear, it's got hand of God steering, it also has working steering wheel in the cab. The back lifts up here as you would expect. And then these gears right here operate the gull wing doors. No power functions in this model. It does have a five speeds transmission with reverse. And the transmission is not right here. It is actually located back here and the gears are vertical and not horizontal so that's one of the unique designs so let's get a good look in there let's take a quick look underneath so because of the way the transmission is designed it is a very, very flat bottom, as you can see. And all the transmission does, guys, is it just changes the gear ratio that allows the engine to reciprocate at a faster or slower rate, indicating a higher or lower gear like in a real car. The hood lifts up. Got a V8 engine, but the V8 engine is behind the seats. Take a look at the top here. So there's the V8 engine in there. I like those louvers there for air intake. So very pleased with it overall. Had some challenges with the build this time, but uh, I worked through them, and uh, nothing is wrong with the instructions. It's just a uh, fantastic building experience and it's just a great car to have and look at. Uh, there has been some concern from others about how wide it is. It is a little bit wider than some of the other supercars. A few studs wider. But overall just fantastic. Take a look under here so you can see. So guys, that's really it. Just wanted to give you a quick look. The instructions are available on Rebrickable. And uh, so are the parts inventory. Like I said, the parts are, are readily available. So if you want to build it, being able to get a hold of the parts shouldn't be a problem. And uh, thanks for watching this time, guys. If you really like this model, please give my video a thumbs up. And be sure to check out more uh, builds and reviews here on OSU Harding channel. Thanks.